Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Hopefully that thing's going to work now. Um, having trouble with the memory card. Not sure if it's the card or the um, camera. So we'll just see. But um, <clears throat> let's see. I guess you can see I've got the deck that Jan sent me. Um, I think it was, I think she said the Crowley. Uh, Thoth deck or trough deck. Um, if I said it wrong, sorry. Thank you again, Jen. I truly appreciate it. Um, so we're just going to see what we get. I am going to see what we get for them with these um, four Aquarius. I'm very um, curious as to what we're going to get. I did cleanse the cards as I always do. Um, Aquarius need to know. What does Aquarius need to know? Special message for Aquarius, please. Special message for Aquarius. Cruelty. That's the Nine of Swords. Someone has been treated really badly. And it's like, um, you know, and the Nine of Swords in the normal is about really thinking and thought and, and capturing yourself on in your own mind. This, for me, what I'm feeling um, is basically kind of the same except for it's about what's happened to you. It's about the cruelty that you have went through. It's about um, really just that pain severs, you know, inside of you and you're just holding on to it. You're, you're kind of stuck in it, someone is. Okay. Can we know more? May we know more, please, Spirit? So you have the power. See there. Um, you have the power to overcome this, to bring yourself out of this. Maybe you're finding the power. Okay, I want to. I want to clarify. Yeah, I do. I do. Oh my goodness, look. See there? It's like, um, you know what you want. You've got all this love to offer someone. And it's like you're finding the power to overcome that. Because you want this new beginning. Maybe you're being offered a new beginning. Let's see. Um, you're being very truthful with your words. And... Now, tell us more. Maybe someone new has come into someone's life, or they're ready for someone new to come into their life. May we know more? Tell us more. Any more? Okay, I see what's going on. So I'm switch decks. Okay. You see, basically what um, I feel like Spirit's doing is they're, they're using this deck. They're letting me use this deck to show where one's been and where they are. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, we've been in a spot of cruelty and feeling like you've been hurt so badly that you just, you know, bleed. But now, it's like coming away from that, being in this spot of power. And, you know, really knowing what you want and having the love to offer to someone. That's, that's Nine of Cups. That's a wish card. And then you got the Ace of Cups. And then you got the Knight of Swords. So that's a feeling like you're standing in your truth. And, you know, it's like you're you're either getting ready to go into or you're waiting on. So we're we're gonna we're gonna see what they wanna give us with some, some other tarot. Because, you know, some of you some of you um, you know, everyone looks at the readings as if it's you know if I say love it, it means uh, no oftentimes this could be about you know a friend or a loved one as far as family member or such it doesn't always have to be romantic but sometimes it is okay tell us more about this spirit more for Aquarius what do they need to know what does Aquarius need to know what wish come true healing Healing power. Oh my goodness. Faith. Balance. It's like losing this mentality of, of, you know, dwelling on how you've been hurt. How you've endured cruelty. How you've. See, it's kind of like if you look at it. How you've, you've, you've. It's almost like um, dwelling on yourself. <laughs> I mean, I hate, I hate to say it, but that's what I'm getting. Um, you know, it's like moving away from that and looking at now. What's, what, what you have now. It's like someone moves themselves away from that cruelty um, and that lack mentality and that um, pitiful me mentality. You know, they've been hurt. Someone hurt them badly. But they have decided to let karma handle that. And they have decided that they want to have a life again. So they've found their own power. They've stepped into their power for themselves. And they're feeling, you see. It's like letting go of what holds you can bring you into your power. And, you know, this is feeling love. This is ready for love. And this is being truthful about everything, you know. <clears throat> Standing in your own truth, excuse me. See, someone has tr may have trouble speaking. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> um, needing to speak their truth. Needing to um, stand in your truth. You know, this is about healing. This is about balance. <clears throat> this is your card, Aquarius. You and Gemini, but, um, you know, this is definitely wish come true. This is beautiful. This is absolutely flipping beautiful. It is because someone is deciding, hey, I've had enough. I'm, I've had enough of that right there. It's on the bottom. The past. I'm going to step away from it. You see, and for some of you... That you want, you want the person, you want the one for you, but you're scared to death. <laughs> it's like, okay, stepping away from the past, like I just told you. You know, what does that mean to you? What does having someone mean to you? You know, but if you're constantly doing this right here, how are they going to get through? How is anyone going to get through? You know, allowing... Judgment, allowing karma to take control and do what needs to be done with the past. Stop fighting what you can't control. See, I feel like what, one of the problems is being, as you've been being right here. <laughs> oh, you know, the King of Swords, you know, that's about thought and... In the head. This is emotion. Heart center. 
So it's like once you start, <clears throat> you know, being in your head, you allow karma to do its job. You stop dwelling on it because worry gets you no worry. I mean, you can you can sit there all day and, um, you know, why, why, why? It, it's not going to change the fact. You know, it's that type of feeling. And all that is is burden. All you're doing is carrying burden. You know, if you want the one, allow it to come in. See, that's soulmate. But here's the thing. People are scared to death. They're scared to death to take a chance because they had something toxic. They had something toxic that they thought was real. And they put their whole heart and soul into it. And it's, it's scared them to death now. Well... And you, okay, I'm getting spirit tingles. Some Someone knows exactly who, who I'm talking, they're talking, uh, who, oh my goodness. Okay, this is meant for many, but there's someone in particular is going to feel this a <laughs> big time. Your strength is here for you. It's here for all of you. Take you away from that spot where you don't need to be. You know, it's so you can take your life back, basically. So you can take your... I'm going to take one of these right here. Oh, yeah. As long as I can read them. I got, my eyesight's not the best. But see? Oh, see? This is the... Um, oh, my goodness. The angel... The angel tarot. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm so curious. I have pre-shuffled, so... Maybe have one... Now, like I told you when I got these, I cannot pronounce them. So, uh, Viala, Vialaya, I'm going to let you look at that so you know what, how it's pronounced there. Okay. Prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. There you go, baby. There you go. See here? That's what I'm saying. Allow karma. See? God will deal with this. <laughs> Allow karma, you know, to deal with this. So that you're not held in bondage. Bondage, I mean. You know, it's like, if you hold that grudge. Okay, there you go, grudge. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I used to be... I used to be guilty of that. I used to be one of the worst to hold a grudge and uh, in the past and not be able to forget anything that someone done to me. Oh, my goodness. When I let go of that, bam, I felt so much lighter. No joke. Give it to God. Free yourself. That's absolutely beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is. It looks like someone, they're going to have a wish come true, but they've got to get to this mindset of giving it to God, basically. Having faith. And, you know, not constantly questioning that's what it feels like. Well, thank you so much for being here with me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you like the content that I create, give it a thumbs up. Um, please do subscribe. And um, much light and love to you. Till next time. Bye.